I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. Kind of made the water a little murky doing it, but what I got, I got my H stand set up. I got the 330 down and in there. And this log right here is their natural dive. And there's a channel kind of goes through here where you can tell they've been going underneath this log. I got a few blocking off sticks on either side and then got my trap staked off over here. So in theory they should come down here underneath this log, boom, right in my trap. Now I'll give you an idea. You see this channel comes through here and it goes all the way back over there. And there's a few runs that go off this way and a couple at the very end. There's another, this, actually this, this tree here is another natural dive for them. What I did is set the very first one uh, in hopes that it, there's a few runs that they can get to before they hit that second tree down there. So I figure I'll catch them before they can even get in and have a chance to bypass my trap because I don't really see any runs over here. And not to say that there isn't any, but it's in theory they should hit the trap first before they can get to any other any other uh, exits and miss my my trap if it was set back further. So we'll leave this one. Uh, I'm gonna go take a look. See, I got three more traps out in the middle. I gotta go check, and then two more down on the other side of the swamp. So I'll go check them. All right, so I'm out here by my second spot. See if we can, I can show you where they're at. I shouldn't say second spot, same area. Uh, it's just where my three traps are out in the middle. And I'm not kidding, this is sketchy at best. It's, let's see, I'll get it in. Right there, you can see the lodge right over there. There's that one, there's another one that way. But all that, the looks like solid ground that ain't solid. That is like a walking carpet. It's, uh, it's, it's very sketchy. It's, it's like when you walk on it, you, your feet just move up and down. There's so many runs underneath there. It's like they chewed that whole area up. It, I'm actually, I'm not, my traps, I walked out there. It looked like solid ground. So I set my traps in it. Uh, I didn't want to waste a trip out there. I'm gonna actually pull them today because I don't want to walk out there again. I got a sled too, brought my daughter's little sled because I don't need any more weight. I don't know if I get one beaver, I get two or three, I, who knows. But if I have a couple, I don't need any more weight on me to where I can force myself through because I took one of my eight uh, stands and stuck it down in one of the runs that I found and it was over the eight stands. So that's those are 54 inches tall. I have no idea how deep it is under there, but I don't need to find out that it's over my head and I'm out here all alone and no one knows I'm here. I'd be screwed. I'm gonna pull those traps. I'm gonna reset them somewhere else where I can get to them from shore. Like I said, we'll get back out in the, the winter. I'm, I'm gonna trap those beaver lodges though. There's no way I'm not. There's two here. There's one or two on the other side too. So I'm gonna get me a beaver out of this swamp for sure. I'm not gonna let it get the best of me. So let's go see what we can get. Oh, and I'm gonna actually not take this camera. I'm gonna take my GoPro on my head because if I go underwater, I'm not ruining this this much money. At least a GoPro that's meant to go underwater. So won't be the best audio, won't be the best video because I absolutely hate GoPros, but they're good for what they are. So let's go get it. All right, so last two traps I ain't had nothing in. Uh, but walking up here. Got ourselves a tail. Let's see. Oh, that's a decent sized one. That's a two year old. All right, I'll take it. That's a perfect catch too. Right behind the, the front shoulders, crushes their lungs and heart, kills them quick. If you ever caught them like that before and you open their chest cavities and you know what I'm talking about, their lungs are kind of mush. Right behind the front shoulders. All this open water you see right through here are all beaver runs. Their lodge is right there. There's another lodge over there. 
what they do is they come out of that lodge and I can't get to that lodge it's it's too uh, it's too mushy I'd never make it over there what they do is they come out of the lodge they come down through these runs and then what I did is I sat right where right where there's some ground so that way the the H stand is something to push against they come in hit the trap and we got dinner and I'm not walking on that. Let's see if I can get it in. I mean, all this area. Nope. Not doing it. All right. I'm going to get this guy in the sled, and then uh, I'm going to go back, pick my other trap up, and then I'm going to head back. We'll go check the other ones. All right, day two. This is uh, the trap I set in that little channel with the natural log as a dive stick. Oh, I don't fall in. I'm gonna get up. It don't look like anything tripped it, but huh. you gotta be kidding me. Muskrat. <laughs> All right. Well, that sucks in a way, but it's good because I'm muskrat trapping too. Damn, I know this would have been a good producer. This is a good area. I know where it's at now. I know where to look for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back out in the winter time if I can't get out here sooner. And when this freeze is over, I'm going to break through the ice. I'm going to set another another run here because there is I don't know if it's a bank down or what it is but I don't know but all right well, let's see that's a big muskrat too a good size one you don't you very rarely catch them behind the head like that uh, I'm glad I did it kills them instant now there you have it one beaver one muskrat uh, it is what it is. Like I said, I can't uh, I can't get out to the deep spots around their lodges and that. I just I will. I'm not gonna not trap those this year. Uh, they have. I mean, beaver around here. I came out here last night and watched, and I seen quite a few beaver just swimming around. So I know there's a good amount in here. I'm gonna either wait till the the swamp freeze is over, see if I can get out to the lodges. Or I know if I could trap those lodges, game over. I. I know I'll do well out there, but for considering they have, I mean, I bet you hundreds of runs going up from the swamp onto the shore. I mean, how do you pick the the one that they're going to use that night? You just don't know. But, hey, one beaver, one muskrat's better. No beaver, no muskrat. I'll take it any day of the week. Sure does make it better than going out and trapping for, for two, three days and then not getting anything. But, well... Thanks for watching. Uh, I will be back out here trapping again, both beaver and muskrat. I got a few other muskrat and beaver spots on my trap too coming up here within, let's see, a month, month and a half. Before the New Year's, I'm going to have quite a few spots I'm going to trap. So hopefully get some small game hunting in there, maybe some deer hunting if I can get out, and more trapping. So I'll see you later.